anyone is one of those things, it's that secretary of his, her and her perfect hair. Mm-hmm. The mayor's secretary. Come on, Ma. I cut her hair myself, and I know human hair. That's just it, Johnny. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. If you nick McDonough with your razor, he'd bleed. Don't mean nothing. Hmm. Excuse me. Well, hello there. Another one of the poor and stupid of Diamond City come begging for table scraps? I don't beg, you stuck-up old bat. Fine. Go ahead and pretend you're someone important. I'm getting bored. Why don't you make yourself scarce? Fine, I'll leave. Good to see you know your place. Around here, we call your haircut the Scav Special. Little flecks of blood, give it the personal touch. You should think about getting a trim. What are my options? You name it. Shaves, long cuts, short cuts, braids, layering. Eh, be easier just to show you. Got an empty chair right here. Not interested. Later then. Excuse me. You there. Talk some sense into my net with son. McDonough's secretary, is she a synth? What? You know what a synth is, right? Those machine people the Institute makes? Looks and acts just like the real thing? Only I think they made Geneva a little too perfect. No woman looks like she does. Oh, perky. So she's a synth, right? She has to be. No idea. You don't know? What? Born without a brain between your ears? You just said that no one could tell the difference, Ma. He don't know if Geneva's a sin, and neither do you. So could you lay off? Don't you talk to your mother that way, Johnny. If you're looking for a haircut, the salon's open in the morning. You'll get used to Diamond City security being unhelpful. Just ignore him like I do. That a real vault suit? Damn. Everyone in this city's always jumping at shadows. Chill out is what I say. Do yourself a favor and just say yes. It's all he understands. Yes? Hey. I'm trying to take some time off over here. Gotta accept life on its terms, you know? Something bad happens, just say yes to it. Genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatter. What's a swatter? <laughs> Rookie, eh? A swatter, my friend, is a Diamond City tradition. See, it used to be that this whole place was a stadium. And two teams would meet and play a game called baseball. One team would beat the other team to death with these things called baseball bats. And, and the best bats were called swatters. True fact. Look, dumbass, that's not how baseball was played. That right, Mr. Smarty Pants? Hey, if you're such an expert, how do you think it was played? There were balls, strikes, three bases, and home runs. You kept score by how many runners made it to home plate. I like my version better. Now, can I interest you in these genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatters? Not interested. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you're the new guy, right? The new guy? Word kind of travels fast in Diamond City. What can I say? Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. So you know weapons, huh? Listen, I can sell you guns, swords, whatever. And they'll keep you alive for sure. But the real secret is in the mods. The little personal touches, 
install a scope, expand the clip size, whatever. You spend time with your gear and you'll have the right answer to every problem. Anyway, let's get back to you and what kind of protection you need. I've got a few minutes to browse. Don't forget to stock up on ammo. You? I don't know you. Just keep your distance. Keep calm. I'm standing still. That's exactly what a synth would say. But I don't know. Are you really, uh, human? Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough. But I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a... Well, they're good eyes. Got it? All right. We can do business, but no funny stuff. What kind of business you run in here, anyway? We buy and sell anything and everything. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day. The robot takes care of customers at night. Only one I trust to do it. At least I know he's a machine. Let's see what you got. Everything you need. There's a bar in the old theater district that's for raiders only. A combat zone. I'd stay clear if I was you. Got chems right here for you, brother. Did you say something about drugs? That's right. All the chems you need to fill out your lifestyle. Balance you out. Everyone here buys from me. Sometimes security needs a little psycho, or an engineer needs some mentats. And heck, Rad X is plain universal. I've got a few minutes to browse. Every chem for every need. file to open. Do you have a legitimate medical concern? Or is this about our facial reconstructive services? Facial reconstruction? What's that? Uh, it's Doc Crocker's specialty. If you're interested, talk to him about it. Just head through the door with our logo on it. Now, if you have an actual medical problem, speak up. So what kind of treatments are common around here? Bandaging wounds and cleaning radiation exposure are the most common things you outsiders usually ask for. That and kicking a chem habit. Not interested. All right. Excuse me. Got too much dirt in that hair? Get it trimmed. You won't regret it. You keep an eye on that thing. I don't want to hear about anybody getting bit. You're getting pretty chummy with that reporter, huh? Careful there. The mayor's got it in for us. Right here. Let's go. Bash is in the Commonwealth.
Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? Why are you calling me that? Because of the blue jumpsuit you're wearing? You're a vault dweller. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. What kind of interview is this gonna be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, what? <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? You're all living in rusty shacks, killing each other. Oh my god, the smell. Okay. Well, that's gonna be a fun one to quote. Now, I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. <laughs> and people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Don't do this. Please! Don't move, Sim. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a Sim. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a Sim! He'll kill us all! Kyle, no! Okay, show's over. There are no synths in Diamond City, hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. Hey. He pulled a gun on me. My own brother. What happened? I'm, I'm not a synth. I, I told him. I, I kept telling him. Why didn't he listen to me? I, uh... I need a minute. I need you to step away, Scaver. I understand, officer. I just want to know what happened. What, you didn't hear the shouting? Guy pulls a gun on his own brother, thinking he's a synth. It's that newspaper's fault. Got people all riled up, thinking their own family might be replaced by machines. Look, I'm sorry you got caught up in all this, but it's over, okay? Just go about your business like nothing happened. Better that way. What's My everyone God. still standing around for? God. Go back to your own damn business. Your luck wouldn't last forever. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. Sorry. 
office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective... He's gone missing. Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Hey, I'd love to help, but there's a small matter of expenses. Money, huh. I, I do have 125 caps in the old rainy day fund. Come on, this is your boss's life we're talking about here. Fine, we'll make it 150 caps. Last chance. Put some real money on the table or we're done. Okay, you win. 200 caps is all I have. Who's this Skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. You said Malone's from Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast aways. People with power there care about two things. Style and body count. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. Museum of Witchcraft up near Salem. Why would anyone even go there? An abandoned forever. Another glass of wine, Wellington. Certainly, sir. Anything for an upper stand resident. Uh, this is what I like about you, Wellingham. You know what you are. Not trying to be anything other than helpful. People out there. Lower field workers always want what they haven't earned. Oh, astute observation, sir. Let me just freshen your glass again. Thank you, Willingham. I may have been programmed to serve, but in your case, I shall do so disdainfully. Let me know when you're ready to order. There a problem? No problem at all. My programming dictates that I serve all customers in the Colonial Tap House. Even those that obviously don't belong. Just know that my senses indicate that you have dangerously low levels of class for this establishment. I'll take a look, sure. If you insist. Oh, I don't object to you outsiders coming up here, but... Must you insist on speaking to me? Hi. You belong down in the lower section of the city. It's more suitable for those lacking in ambition. Darcy, let's go. Take it easy. I don't think she wants to leave just yet. Hey, this is between me and my wife. Why don't you mind your own damn business for once? Oh, God, Paul, why do you always have to make a scene? Pour me another drink, Henry. Damn it. Darcy, I just want you to come home. I'll be home. Later. I can't believe you'd do this to me, Cook. Do what to you, Paul? You smug bastard. You keep away from my wife, God damn it. You'd better get out of here before you do something stupid. You son of a bitch! Don't hurt him, Henry! Uh -huh. Go on. Get out of here. I'll be at home, Darcy. Taking care of our son.
Sorry I had to see that. Things are usually a lot quieter around here. Perfect place to drink, if you're buying. What was that argument about? Uh, nothing much. You see, Darcy here likes to relax and enjoy life from time to time, and her husband Paul doesn't. He's not a bad guy, really. Just a little uptight. Too bad he can't learn to relax, huh, Darcy? Shut up. I don't come here to talk about Paul. You there! I haven't seen you in here before. Why don't you make yourself useful and buy me a drink or something? Sure. Get the lady another of whatever she's having. That's more like it. I hope you stick around. I think we might become good friends. Free booze. The fastest way to your heart. Now, you need to order anything? So is this your place? That's right. Owner, bartender, sympathetic ear. I try to provide a little oasis from the hardships of life. Name's Cook, by the way. Henry Cook. Let me know if I can get you anything. Not now. Well, we're always open. So you got one of those fancy bolt suits. Those one size fits all. Help or mayday or whatever it is one says on a radio. My name is Rex Goodman. I'm being held prisoner on the top of Trinity Tower. I think the super mutants plan on eating me soon. I'm setting this to repeat. Ah oh, shit! Gotta sign off. One of the super mutants is coming! Help! Or Mayday, or whatever it is one says on a radio. My name is Rex Who's Goodman. There? I'm being held prisoner on the top of Trinity Tower. I think the super mutants plan on you. Hands up, asshole! This to repeat. Ah oh, shit! Gotta sign off. One of the super mutants is coming! Help! Or Mayday, or whatever it is one says on a radio. My name is Rex Goodman. I'm being held prisoner on the top of Trinity Tower. The Super Mutants plan on eating me
Let's do this. You're not talking your way out of this. You can't do this. Anyone, please, help! Quiet, Synth. You're not talking your way out of this. Please, you gotta help me. Kill me and replace me and my family. Oh, God. My kids. Don't you dare bring them up. He's the Synth, and he wants to replace me. Please. Please, you gotta believe me! You can't let that thing do this! Hey, I'm on your side. I just need you to tell me the truth. Then maybe I can help. I'm telling you, I'm not a synth. You have to believe me. Let's all just calm down. No one has to die. No, he wants me dead! He's never gonna stop! I have to kill him! Don't listen to him. It'll say anything to convince you. Look. All I need is for you to put down the gun. Then we can talk this through. I... All right. I'm putting the gun away. Oh, thank God. Now I just have to dig two graves. If that's what you want!
Sometime, asshole! Huh? 